Hey everybody, welcome to Low Sitting Pinstripe and thanks for joining with me today. I've got a special little video that I think you're going to really enjoy. But before we go do that, I just want to shout out to all of you that have not subscribed to my channel yet. If you'd really consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. And all of you that are already subscribers and checking out my videos, I want you to know that I greatly appreciate it. All the comments you're leaving me below as well. All right, let's go check out this little video. I think you're going to really enjoy this. Hey everybody, welcome to Low Sitting Pinstrapping. Well, uh, I've got this Chevy glove box that I purchased about three years ago, and I've had it uh, sitting around here, and I forgot I had it, actually. And so I thought I'd do a video on it and uh, do a pinstriping on it, but I'm going to do something uh, after we pinstripe it. I want to blend this pinstriping in to this rusted look. Uh, to make it look like it's been there for a while. And sometimes there's guys that have uh, hot rods like this, and if they ever ask you to pinstripe them, uh, maybe you want to try to blend it in. You can ask them, do you like it blended in so that it doesn't look like it's uh, brand new on there. It looks like it's been there for a while. So that's what we're going to do. But first of all, let's go ahead and uh, pinstripe this thing and then we'll let it set up a little bit and we'll come back and I'll show you how to blend this thing in and make it look like it's been on this glove box for quite some time. Let's go ahead and do it right now. All right, everybody, we've let it set up a little bit, and uh, so I can touch it and it's dry. You don't want to do it while it's uh, wet because it'll just smear. So uh, you want to get some hot water on your rag, and then you want to just start rubbing it, and you can almost see where it's starting to disappear on there. Let me put a little more hot water on this. You want to use hot water instead of cold. Uh, I see that it works a lot better. Now I'm just kind of rubbing that out, kind of letting the paint disappear a little bit. But I want that rust on there to start uh, blending in on it. So get a little more hot water on this. getting this side a little bit and you kind of just 
see where it's kind of like it's losing its color a little bit and that's what you want to do where it's just fading out and up here a little bit more on this there we go it's almost like I'm rubbing the paint off on it and in some spots you can you can just take the paint and just kind of rub it out I'm almost see I got it to where right here it's pretty much the paints almost missing on it so I don't want to do any more on that maybe in this spot right here I can rub it see where it's disappearing that looks pretty good starting to take on that older look already and let me get some of these spears going here. That there, like that. There we go. I'm going to do some more up here on this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now it's looking good. And you'll be able to see it. What I want to do is try to turn this towards the camera a little bit and see if you can't. Focus in on that a little bit better. You can see it looks like I've rubbed the paint, almost rubbing the paint off of it. So it's taken on that character look that it's been there for a while and not like it's brand new. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed doing it for you. So maybe if you ever get a uh, to do a hot rod that's kind of rusted like this, uh, maybe gives you a little tip of how to try to blend this pinstriping into the rust color and it looks like it's been on there for quite a while.